Hello? Oh, no mail yet. I guess I'm gonna have to send some cards so my friends send something back. I'm Judy from Judykins, and I'm gonna be making cards today. Wanna join me? Ever since I could reach a mailbox, I loved making cards and sending them. The reason why I like to use rubber stamps is because it makes duplicating the cards really easy, and this way I can make a whole bunch of cards at one time. I have a wedding card here that I was going to make for my friends, and I chose this country halo stamp because it's elegant, but it's not too formal, and my friends are pretty easygoing people. One of the things that worked out really nicely was that I was able to make a ribbon buckle out of this halo by cutting it out. Let me show you how. I start out with a piece of cardstock here, and I'm going to stamp the background and emboss it. Take my ink pad, my embossing pad here, tap the ink on, and then stamp your image right along the score line. Just press straight down on that and make sure you get even pressure. Then pull off the stamp and now we're going to emboss this. I have my little snappy tray that I'm gonna collect the embossing powder in and I'm using this beautiful light color of Chablis embossing powder which will add a real nice effect to the background of the card but it's not too obvious. It's gonna be very subtle. And I put the embossing powder back in my jar and close the jar that way I don't accidentally spill it. Now I'm gonna take my heat tool and I'm gonna melt the powder. Now, once all of my powder is melted, I want to stamp the greeting. I have this Happy Wedding Day stamp, and because my embossing powder is a plastic, I need to use a solvent-based ink to stamp on the top of the plastic. This is a permanent ink, and it'll dry on that plastic. Center my Happy Wedding Day in the background here, and that is my greeting. I stamped and embossed on this yellow gold colored card with the same Chablis embossing powder and you could see the texture but it's also very light in color and matches the background of the paper. Now I'm going to stamp out my country halo image and I'm going to emboss it with metallic gold embossing powder. Just take my stamp and because I'm going to cut it out it really doesn't matter where I stamp it on the paper. Then. I use my metallic gold embossing powder to emboss this. I have one here that I've cut out and I want to show you how I create the buckle part of the element here. I'm going to punch a couple holes here in the center ring right along this one inside line. Punch one hole and then the second hole approximately a quarter of an inch apart. Next, I'm going to punch 180 degrees on the other side the same way. Now I'm going to flip over to the back of my image and now I'm going to connect the dots here with my ruler and knife. Just pull the knife and I've connected one area and now I pull the second line and now I'm going to cut out that inner circle here. So I take my scissors and just run it along that one inside line and I'm making a little D. See there's that D shape. Turn it around and cut again right around that edge. Now it's okay if you happen to make a mistake and cut that center bar out. I did that before and I have a really cute thing that I could show you what to do with your mistake. So slide in your paper ribbon now. You want to go from the bottom over the top. This is like paper weaving. And then with a little double sided adhesive you can attach your ribbon right along the edge here so that kind of covers up the edge of the background stamp. And finally, to finish off your card, you slip on this great little tassel that has this ball here that cinches up and tightens along the card. Now that I've finished that card, 
about the same time that my friend was getting married, I had another friend who was on the board of directors of a library, and they had just finished up building this brand new community library. And I was inspired to create a congratulation card for my friend Jack. It doesn't look too feminine, and it doesn't look too masculine, and it just makes a beautiful card. I stamped on this dark colored paper with the country halo image, and I embossed it with gold, silver, and copper embossing powder. I cut out the halo, and I'm going to show you how I assemble it to create this little chain. Cut out your halos, and you need to cut two of them with the circles out. Take the first ring, and you're going to cut right through the edge of the ring and cut out the circle. Do the same thing for the second ring. It doesn't matter where you make the first cut, because that will get covered up in a little bit here. With my third ring, I don't have to cut anything out, and I take my first ring, split it, and I match up that kind of dotted line in the center here. Do the same thing with the second ring, and then I just adjust this. Let me just slide in my paper here, and I would attach that whole thing with a little bit of adhesive, and that's my finished congratulations card. Several months later, my sister sent me this adorable photograph of my twin nephews, and they were wearing this cute little Santa suit. Well, I had to make a card for her because I'm in charge of designing her Christmas cards, and this is the card that I came up with. Now, to put together my card is really easy. What I did was I started out with a note card and I put two score lines in the center of the front and the back panel. This creates a gatefold card. I stamped and I embossed the front two panels and you can see now how I've got this decorated two doors in the front. Now, I'm going to take a little piece of white cardstock that I've trimmed out with a scalloped edge and glue that right onto the edge of this one door. I'm using the trio tape because it's a real convenient way to assemble a card and just put this right here on the front. Make sure that I'm straight. Now, I've stamped and embossed the greeting on this deckle edged postcard and I also put the photo of my twins. I'll put a little more adhesive on the back of my postcard. I want to make sure that that's going to stay in my note card here. Open this up and center it right in the middle panel. Now, to make the buckle. Remember how I cut out the two D shapes? So now I'm going to take this black strip and run it right through the buckle. And that just slides really easily. If you want, you can attach that here now with a little bit of the adhesive right along that front of the buckle and I put that right on the front of the card. I like to kind of eyeball to fold the black belt around the card, so I just bend it at the one side, bend it and fold it on the other side, and now I could slide this through my buckle to close it. Because I send so many cards out, I tend to lose track of who I've sent cards to, and it would be awful to send them the same card. So here I have this little page layout and you can see I've used the country halo here that was cut out as the frame for my nephew's faces and I created a little pocket to hold my greeting card. And let me show you really quick how I made that pocket. I used my envelope, so let me look that really quick. So I'm just going to seal up my envelope. Now I'll cut my envelope three inches long. So I'm going to use this medium-sized circle punch here, and I'm using the back side of the envelope, and the reason why is because I like the detailing of the seam from the back of the envelope. I flip my punch over upside down so I could see where I'm punching, and I really don't want to punch too much, maybe a half an inch in, making sure that that center seam is lined up with the center of the punch and press straight down, and now I've got a little notch taken out of the back of my envelope, which creates a little decorative element for my pocket. Now here's my finished scrapbook layout. I just want to insert my card into that little pocket. Let me show you my card portfolio here so you can see some of the other great cards that I've made. I have my wedding card that I made first today, and then 
Here's my congratulations card that I made next. You can see Jack's name is embedded in a brick here in front of the library. This is a garden invitation for my niece, Brittany, when she was having a little party for all of her friends. And a thank you card for my friends up in Washington when we went to go visit their apple farm. I love looking back at all the cards that I've made that I've sent to my friends. Speaking of friends, I wonder if the mailman left anything for me yet. Wow, look at all this mail. I think I need a letter opener now. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.